Every time you get on the road in Nigeria, there is a risk, a danger, but there's also an opportunity to change. Nigeria is just part of the problem. It doesn't stop here. It doesn't stop in Africa. According to the World Health Organization, almost 1.3 million people die every year in traffic accidents and as many as 50 million more suffer serious injuries. But thanks to the tireless work of Nigeria's Federal Road Safety Corps, statistics have changed. And that's no accident. The FRSC is changing the story in Nigeria. A proven track record. Driving into the future. Nigeria is a nation of 170 million people and 194,000 kilometers of roads. These roads are the most important means of transportation in the country, carrying 80% of the population and goods. In Nigeria, it's a developing country. There is increased urbanization, increased motorization, and there's a lot of movement from the rural to the urban centers. A lot of infrastructures have not been in place prior to this time. Safety measures were actually thrown overboard. The road network is often not well maintained and overcrowded with drivers that lack education. Something needed to be done. It became a ritual. I would either carry the maimed, the injured, to the next hospital, or pick up the bodies, including, of course, my students and my colleagues. Professor Wali Shoinka set up a civil organization in Oyo State, which in 1988 was transformed into what is today known as the Federal Road Safety Commission, FRSC. FRSC came into being as a result of the Decree 45 of 1988, which has now been transformed into the FRSC Act of 2007. Babangida was the president at the time. There was a kind of police road commission. And since funds were not coming, we somehow managed to get Babangida to ask the commission to turn over all their vehicles and their stations. And that's how the Road Safety Corps began. Just as it began, some of us were just core members who wanted to do our youth service uh, and they ca in the camp, and we were called upon that those who want to join Road Safety should join. And we voluntarily joined. And uh, we didn't know where we were going, but we just believed that it was a call to service and a service to the nation. From humble beginnings, the FRSC has grown today to an organization with a workforce of more than 20,000 people. Today, you can say that the core has, uh, from uh, working under a tree in Ibadan, then with the metamorphosis from the Ibadan to Lagos, then to Abuja, the national headquarters. We have our 12 zona commands all over the country, and we also have 37 state sector commerce, one per state. Uh, what we set out to do, we, I think we succeeded in doing, we just at least to set up an organization with a conscience. And at least the corpses I was picking up on the road diminished. I could get from A to B a little bit faster and without being bloodstained. With an attention to high-quality processes and systems, the FRSC is leading the way for the good of all Nigerians. This video will look at the program's successes and exactly how the FRSC is driving into the future. It all starts with better roads, and thanks to a partnership with the World Bank, Nigeria's major traffic corridors are being engineered to be safer. The project is twofold, involving both repairing and improving the roads and expressways and training the Corps to police roads. The Safe Corridor Project is a concept the World Bank pushed when they gave Nigeria the loan to rehabilitate the highways in Nigeria. The World Bank said, we need to have a plan. We wanted roads that would promote life. From patrol vehicles to ambulances, radar guns and breathalyzers, training the Corps and patrolling the roads is making a difference. In 2010, a United Nations General Assembly resolution proclaimed a decade of action for road safety. Globally, we lose about 1,300,000 lives every year on the roads. Apart from the ones that die, a significant number, of, a lot more, are injured. This decade was launched in May 2011 in over 110 countries with the goal of saving lives by improving the safety of roads and vehicles and improving emergency services. The Federal Road Safety Corps took this to heart and Nigeria is part of the solution. 
in the whole approach in Nigeria, it clearly shows that um, there is a clear understanding for what the intentions are of the decade of action. We launched initiatives to make our roads safe. We brought in ambulances on the highway. Um, we expanded our patrol reach. We began to monitor performance of our patrol teams and we began to deliver real value to Nigerians. Uh, the Federal Road Safety Commission in Nigeria is one agency that we are proud of. In terms of the UN Decade of Action, they have been quite pragmatic in ensuring that the goals are realized. The Road Safety have not shied away in playing their role as one of the lead agencies for this uh, Decade of Action. The Federal Road Safety Corps can't prevent all accidents, so they made responding to accidents faster a priority. It all starts with calling 122 to put into motion a chain of events critical to saving lives. It all starts with Emergency Ambulance Service Scheme, or ZEBRA project. We have ambulance points that will respond within the shortest time possible. If you call 122, it will go into our call center, and if you describe where the crash is, then they'll be able to call the appropriate ZEBRA point to move to the spot. The pilots there on 24-hour service, at any point that there is a crash, they're there to respond to the victim. And when they do, they give the victim first aid even while moving them to the hospital. We respond to crash at the rate of 10 minutes, sometimes 5 minutes, 6 minutes. A lot of lives have been saved because of the establishment of emergency ambulance services scheme. I employ Nigerians to always call when there is any incident. Any time of the day, call me. I'll be there. Many people behave with a lackadaisical attitude. They don't adhere to the road signs. They don't know when to get into an interception. All you have to do is go on the roads, even today. I mean, you're astonished that human beings could behave so aberrantly with such disregard for the next road user. Nigerians should have a license before they get behind the wheel. By learning and using the rules of the road and making a license standard, the FRSC is making the road safer and more orderly. The beauty is having a uniform licensing scheme for the nation. That means what is going on in Benue State is the same thing going on in Kwara State and Sokoto State and River State. So we're talking about uniformity, standardization. The only way to get a license in Nigeria now is to get one through the FRSC. And it all starts online at www.nigeriadriverslicense.org where you can get all the information you need. If you're getting a license for the first time, you must first attend a certified driving school. Once you receive a certificate from the driving school, you can fill out a license application online or go into a driver's license center. Second, pay the license fee online or at the bank. Then go to the DLC to get your photo and fingerprints taken. You'll get a temporary license valid for 60 days. When your license is ready, you'll receive a text message and you can go pick it up at the driving license center. The license is valid for three years and you'll be able to renew it online. It's a license comparable to any in the world and will be very difficult to fake. Most of the people driving, they don't really know how to drive. I feel bad when I see people causing a lot of obstruction on the road. By standardizing driving schools, the Federal Road Safety Corps is making sure everyone learns and respects the same rules of the road. The program is to ensure that driving schools operate based on the technical standards that we have set for them. These driving schools have a classroom, instructional vehicles. They must use a uniform driving school training manual. You can no longer get a driver's license or renew a license without getting a certificate of training from a driving school. Only FRSC accredited driving schools can issue the certificate needed from a central database. The driving school training manual and the curriculum is now uniform so that what you are teaching in Kano, for example, is the same thing that is being taught in Lagos and it is the same thing that is being taught in Katsina, for example. The instructor goes into the website and enter your training hours. At the end of your training, a certificate is generated for you. So that website alone will remove the issue of quackery. So as time goes on, we'll have perfect driving schools.
By encouraging all vehicles to have and maintain a numbered plate, the FRSC can maintain an accurate database and keep roads secure. It also provides a way for registering and regulating vehicles. We all need to keep tap of every person driving a car. We need to have information on all the vehicles in this country. We, we need to know who is on which vehicle and so on. The plate number was changed because of irregularities. All kinds of human beings were faking this and then it was finally difficult to actually have genuine data of uh, the number of vehicles and the vehicle owners in Nigeria. This particular number plate has a lot of security features that can not be faked. There are two ways to get the number plates which will stay with you even if you sell your vehicle. You can go into an FRSC office or go online. The plates are certified by the VIO and can help you if you ever become a victim of crime. Any Nigerian has access to information to verify number plates by simply logging on to www.nvisng.org. Click on Verify Plate Number, type your plate number, and your registration status will be confirmed. Many of the vehicles on the roads in Nigeria belong to organizations and companies with fleets of vehicles from tankers to buses. By regulating policy related to these operators, the FRSC has been able to improve safety and stop dangerous practices, which only lead to loss of lives and property. It all starts inside the private business. Safety from the inside protects the businesses and most importantly protects Nigerians. The FRSC has established a way for businesses to make safety a priority. We've come up uh, with uh, a program for training their, their, their drivers. If you register, first of all, we ensure that you create a safety uh, department in your, in your organization. And after creating that safety department, then you are to employ a safety manager which will be trained by us. And that safety manager then will continue also ensuring that safety standards have been implemented and observed by that company. In the past, we used to have a lot of uh, uh, crashes, but with the implementation of this scheme, the crashes have reduced drastically. to make sure drivers do follow the rules. Those patrolling the rules must be the example. The FRSC Academy gives officers the foundation to make a positive difference on Nigerian roads. The Academy was envisioned to be an all-round development center for road safety practitioners in Nigeria and West Africa as a whole. Uh, what it has tailored itself to do is to provide professional uh, insight into road safety practices. And therefore, we make sure that at every point in time, uh, the cadets that pass through here are molded in such a way that can deliver in uh, areas of road traffic management and safety administration. There are currently more than 360 cadets at the academy at any given time, studying and preparing to become a force for good in Nigeria. With good training comes safer roads. Those who violate road regulations must be held accountable. Enforcement is just as important as the law itself, and with e-ticketing, this is made simple and easy. E-ticketing is an electronic way of booking traffic offenders. It replaces the manual method of booking officer goes to the road, that's it goes on patrol with the tablet. Now when an offender is flagged down, the officer logs into the tablet with his personal login credentials. Now when he does that, he opens the form, then he fills it. After filling it with the offender's information, he submits the form and he, um, a ticket is automatically printed from the print. The data is synchronized into the database. If you accumulate between 10 to 14 points, you get a warning and you go for driver's education for five hours. If you accumulate between 15 to 20 points, your license will be suspended for three months. Then if you accumulate 21 points, then your license will be withdrawn completely for one year. Then you go back to driving school. We live in a world ruled by technology. The ITC is the backbone which supports all of the programs of the FRSC, from licensing to paying tickets. When you get online, you can find and manage all motor vehicle issues. 
the FRSC has changed access to information about driving and driver services in Nigeria. The FRSC of the future that we envisage is that it's an FRSC that is ICT driven. It's an FRSC that is intelligence driven. One of the main topics um, in road safety management is the, the issue with data management. Um, capturing data, uh, obtaining the data, interpreting the data, and then using the data to guide road safety strategies. From the offender's records, to the driver's license record, to the vehicle registration record, to the share point we use for meetings, to electronic APAS system, to, to, to the payment for, 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 of, by offenders. And uh, we have uh, one of the most active websites. We have the, the Facebook, we have the Twitter page, we have the YouTube. The Federal Road Safety Commission in Nigeria is taking the lead. The information center that they have and the processes that they use and set an example for African countries. Through its use of technology and other systems, the FRSC constantly challenges itself to operate by world-class standards. There was no need to have a Nigerian standard. There was no need to have an African standard. There was no need for us to have world-class standards. The ISO 9001 is a quality management system that requires you to track all the um, your policies the administrative processes must be documented and you'll be subjected to audit by a third party to see whether you follow your own rules, that what you say you do, that you do it. Our FRSC was the first in Africa to be ISO 9001 certified. We don't want to be compared to any organization in Nigeria, either public or private. We just want to be a world-class organization. The Federal Road Safety Corps can't do it alone. The roads belong to everyone and many Nigerians are listening to a call for help. The special marshal volunteers are an important part of helping maintain order in traffic and chaotic situations on the roads. They have 100% authority just like the regulars do because they are not just working on their own. They are men and women of proven integrity. We use our time for the love of our country and children. Presently, we have about 15,000 special marshal, and among them, uh, the Senate President. We have a lot of professors, different professions, just like the Good Samaritan in the Bible. So we are just the good Nigerians. Even celebrities are answering the call to be a special marshal. Ali Baba is a comedian who takes this act very seriously. So even before joining road safety, I, I was already helping with traffic. I was helping tow vehicles off the road. I was uh, helping enlightening and educating road users. I, I noticed that quite a lot of people did not know what road signs were. Alibaba had a terrible bus accident that left him injured and inspired to help. He was thrown from the vehicle and considers himself fortunate to be alive. About four or five of us survived the bus, uh, the accident, which was uh, an 18-seater bus. <sighs> of the four of us that survived, one of them had a spinal cord injury. So from that day on, it, uh, it occurred to me that the simple things that we take for granted, seat belts, speed limits, uh, watching other road users, minding the bend, not overtaking on the bridge, and road signs, they count in safe driving and staying alive. But you don't have to be a celebrity to make a difference. Go to your nearest FRSC office to find out how you can become a special marshal. Even children can get involved to make the road safer. Schools throughout Nigeria have road safety clubs. The FRSC officials go into primary schools and teach the children about road safety. Training the next generation to be aware of the rules of the road from the very beginning makes better drivers, better citizens, and better Nigerians. We significantly um, changed the story of road safety in West Africa. Over the past 27 years, we have seen a great downward trend in the casualty figures. And we have also seen a great improvement in the appreciation and knowledge of road safety among Nigerian road users. In fact, the road safety are doing a wonderful job in reducing accidents on our highway. There is a significant drop in the crashes we record on our roads. We need to save a life today. It's not for you to drive to stay alive. The slogan now is drive to save a life. A life saved today may be yours tomorrow. The Federal Road Safety Corps is leading the way with better roads, 
quicker response to accidents, standardized driver's licensing and driving schools, number plates, creating and regulating safer transport for large vehicles, providing Nigerians the technology and information to take care of all motor vehicle issues. The FRSC is changing the story in Nigeria for the better.